Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm really excited to check out the Avatar The Last Airbender, the official cookbook. This is by Jenny Dorsey. Such tiny text. She deserves way more. Uh, yeah, she needs more accolades. So these are recipes from the Four Nations. If you are a Avatar geek like me, or you, I mean, yes, this is perfect for you. This is going to be a cool cookbook. One thing that's really amazing about it is almost every recipe is referenced in the show. It's made in the show or referred to in the, it, yeah, it's, there's so many recipes that you'll find actually in the show and they, they source it at also. So let's look at it. Beautiful photography throughout. So we have in the beginning the table of contents and you can hopefully see each section and category is all color coordinated, which is also the same for the, the pages itself. So air nomads are yellow and that's the first chapter. We have water tribes, earth kingdom, and then we continue on the earth kingdom. Next, we have the Jasmine Dragon Tea Shop. I'm very excited. And then we have the Fire Nation. So, I, yeah, I'm very, very excited to see what everybody's um, recipes are, especially Uncle Iroh's Jasmine Tea Shop recipes. There's all these teas in there. So cool. So, uh, I haven't made any of these recipes yet. I really want to. There's a few, especially the water or the fire nation because they've got spicy food. I'm excited to try it later on. Let's check it out. So if you are an avatar nerd, you know that the air tribe, air nomads, sorry, I'm clearly not as nerdy as I want to be. I'm not very good at this. But anyway, the air tribe nomads oh, are uh, vegetarian. So these, this is your mostly vegetarian section here. So we have a mung bean and tofu curry. And you'll see here, you've got all of the ingredients listed on the left-hand side. On the right, you have, and it might be vice versa, I might have made this backwards, but here you have all of the instructions. At the top here, you have a reference to where they talk about these recipes. So this is a quote by Aang, um, and it talks about how after such a long war and so many pe many temples and shambles, many of these recipes are nearly illegible. Um, so uh, Katara says, I can't eat Air Nation desserts for every meal, so I've been learning how to make this mung bean and tofu curry by examining old scrolls I discovered in the Southern Air Temple. So like I said, you'll there's references throughout this book, and I think there's even like food recipes that we see in the show featured in this cookbook. On the top right here, it's really nice. They give you the prep time and the cook time and the yield for each recipe. And I like that it's just kind of there. It's highlighted so that you can see it, but you know, it's not, I just like that it's even featured. Some cookbooks leave it, they omit it entirely. So moving on, we have Appa's apple salad. That's cute and it's bright and fun. I love the illustrations. You'll find those throughout the cookbook. Most of these recipes do have photos, so hooray for us. If you're a photo person, this is definitely a cool cook cookbook for that. We have Aang's favorite egg tarts. I would definitely try this. I love custard and tart, and oh, this looks great. I love the vibrancy. Let's move on. We've got Momo's moon peaches. Very simple recipe, but still very cute. I know that Netflix sometimes will have uh, Avatar playing every once in a while. I think they do it like every two years or something. And I tend to kind of binge watch it every time it comes out. So it would be fun to get together with friends and make these recipes, especially as you're following the the tra you know the the group in each nation and just kind of featuring. Oh, let's do an Air Nomad dinner day or let's do a fire nation day i think it would be really fun to do that kind of stuff let's move on to some water tribe we have Sokka's salmon jerky fresh fish balls on a stick and i really like a lot of these recipes for the water uh, the water tribe are very uh very i feel i feel the water there's a recipe in here that I saw that looks amazing. It's so unique. 
Uh, it's five flavor soup. It just looks just beautiful. I love the pink that pops and then the green elements here in the soup. It's just, it looks really good. And this would probably be really tasty even during spring. It looks really fresh. We have here Yue's moon cakes and those are beautiful. And I can actually imagine I can imagine this being in the world. Like I love how colorful this uh, the the recipe is, and it's definitely feels kind of water tribey. It's got definitely features of being in some sort of aquatic water uh, tribe. I know that they were in the more Arctic region, but I can definitely see it. It's very cool. Let's move on to some air, or sorry, not air, the Earth Kingdom. We have Freedom Fighters ro roast pork belly. This looks great, and a super easy appetizer recipe. There's uh, Uncle Iroh's Juke, super tasty. This would be great for winter time, just very, very uh, filling and warm and comforting. Seared fish recipe, and this beautiful. I, I, I It's interesting that how it's segmented here. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks really cool. We also have charred cabbage noodles this looks awesome this is actually something i kind of want to make as soon as i can this looks kind of it actually looks fairly healthy there's a lot of green there's the noodles there's some lamb we have oh it's of course it's in debt in depth i've i always like the most complicated recipes in cookbooks it's a problem i always pick the ones that look like so good and tasty and then i realize it's four pages long and anyway so we have Earthbender Mudslide. Isn't it cool that the actual mudslide matches the cup or or either the cup is just really, it's a thick glass and it just, I don't know, it, it looks like just a big rock. It's, it's actually quite cute. Uh, let's move on. We have Misty Palms Special Rice. And again, this looks really tasty. Let's go to Uncle Iroh's uh, Tea Shop because that's super cute. So you get a little bit of information about the tea shop. And it's cute because I think they actually provide recipes that are listed on the menu itself. So cute. Jasmine green tea. I've never made my own tea blends before and it, that's actually kind of a fun project to do, especially during summertime or towards the fall after harvesting a bunch of herbs and whatnot and drying them. It's quite a great idea. We have, I really wish they featured the Appa Blend bubble tea because I love bubble tea, but this is a beautiful photo. The tea leaf juice. It actually looks like cubes, like very uh, like gelatinous, earthy, beautiful. Yes. Bender tea. Let's go to air, uh, fire, the Fire Nation because super cool. We have Komodo chicken. Oh, my mouth is watering and I just eight. I don't know what's wrong with me. Fresh Jiang Hui clams. This looks very yummy. And a lot of these are going to be pretty spicy. Roku style flaming hot chicken skewers. Fire gummies. Oh my goodness. So it has like strawberries and jalapenos in here. Ooh, that would be, and they're like basically mochi balls. That looks super tasty. And then we just have an awesome index. So yeah, this is a really awesome cookbook. If you love Avatar the show, um, or if you know somebody who loves cooking and Avatar, this is a really fun cookbook and it would be a great gift. And it's just, it's got a, a lot of cool references, really unique dishes. I didn't even realize that I actually showcased a lot of the ones on the cover. Sorry, I should have covered more, but this one I didn't cover. It looks like a, um, a, like a, a wonton or some sort of wrap. But anyway, this look this is a really cool cookbook. I highly recommend it. So this is the Avatar The Last Airbender, the official cookbook. This is by Jenny Dorsey, so definitely support her. If you guys want to check out some more of our cookbooks, come look at all of our playlists. We do a lot of cookbooks out there. And if there's something that you guys want us to cover, make sure to comment down below and subscribe and like to this channel. It really does support us and it means a lot. 
Uh, if you guys want to check out our other social media platforms, we have it on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We also do a podcast sometimes, but we've been transferring over to Amazon Live, if you've never heard of it before. Amazon has a lot of featured influencers over there, and we're trying to build a following over there. So if you like seeing our live stuff, go over there, because there's a lot of cool things that we'll do over there that's different than here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time.